All right, continuing on with our Astrogator RPO sequence uh, video series, we are wrapping up our forced motion category, and we're going to be talking about the V-bar hop RPO sequence. Um, so that's this guy here, V-bar hop. In my MCS, I can get to that by going to the RPO forced motion folder, and it's at the bottom there. Um, all right, so there it is. Um, the V-bar hop sequence hops from one position on the V-bar to a desired final V-bar position. The method used for the hop is half of a natural motion circumnav RPO sequence. Uh, but there is an initial maneuver to start the hop and then a second maneuver to stop all relative motion upon arrival at our final V-bar position. The transfer time of the V-bar hop is half of a revolution since it's half of a natural motion circumnav. If there are significant differential forces between the chase and target satellites, uh, then you should use the hop or hop min dv sequences, since the differential forces make a classic v-bar hop impossible. And so here in our example, we're going to hop from negative 500 meters along the v-bar uh, to plus 100 meters along the v-bar. Um, and so we have it all here in our sequence. Uh, I'll go ahead and run it. And it's going to do some things to converge. We'd converged previously, so um, kind of like a a baking show, we've got it done already. Um, so there we are. And we'll set our animation time, make sure it's to the beginning of the V-bar hop, and zoom to the RPO satellite in the 3D graphics. And so this is where we're going to start our V-bar hop. Negative 1,000 meters along the V-bar. Um, sorry, negative 500 meters. Um, it might be negative 1,000. We'll double check but we're going to end at a plus, at plus 100 meters along the V-bar. Um, at the end of the day, it is whatever we told it to be. So um, let's go ahead and play it. And there we go. Moving on our hop. Um, and ultimately, we should arrive over here at plus 100 meters. Um, and so that is the V-bar hop sequence. Let's take a quick look here, just so I don't lie to you about where we started. And we did start at a negative 1,000 meters along the V-bar. And we ended up at a plus 100. So uh, thanks for listening. And uh, that concludes our forced motion sequences.